What is up, YouTube? This is PZZSC in here, and uh, I wanted to come on here and show you guys something real quick that I've been working on since yesterday. Basically, I decided to customize my Zippo, all right? And as you can see, it's clearly the one on the right, all right? This is actually my high polish brass armor, which was my main user a while ago, and then I did the candy apple red one. But I wanted to try out something called heat anodization, okay? Now here it is. Here's a little close-up of it. Now, you keen-eyed viewers will probably notice that something's a little bit off here. I posted a picture of this to Instagram yesterday, and the front actually had a different design. Uh, I actually did a little bit more to it. I took the flame to it again to see if I could change it up a bit, and uh, it does look quite a bit different now. Here's the side. Here's the other side. And this side, which turned a pleasing blue color, and I didn't even mean to do that. I never touched this side with uh, with the heat, but it did change blue, and I wanted this to actually be that color, but, oh well. <laughs> it is kind of cool, though, how that happened. I literally didn't even touch this with the heat. So basically, there it is, up close. There's that side. You can see all sorts of different colors in there. Uh, there's some blues, some greens, some reds, and then, of course, there is some uh, still some brass color in that. Nice close-up of the bottom stamp. And that's the uh, the front here. As you can see, kind of came out kind of cool. And the back. So, a lot of nice colors in there. And basically, what you do to do this, like I say, this is a high polished brass armor. Go out and get yourself one of these high polished brass Zeppos. And then use it for a few days because it comes with a coating on the front of it, which is there to actually prevent it from tarnishing while it's on display. So use it for a few days, it will it will wear off, and then the tarnishing will begin to happen naturally. When that happens, when it's completely when you're confident it's worn off, that is when you want to go ahead and start playing around with this. Now, I've actually been using this one for a good two or three years before I tried doing this, so if it's still kind of shiny, your results may vary a little bit, but basically. What I did was I used one of these. This is a Ronson Jet Light, okay? It's important that you have a Jet Light, and you, you can't just use the Zippo itself. You have to use one of these uh, Jet Flames because this kind of flame will not get hot enough, okay? You can't just hold the case up to this and expect it to work. It just won't. Uh, you will notice that it did kind of work on the uh, on the chimney, but that's because there's so little brass on the chimney because it's actually brass plated that the heat from the Zippo flame itself actually did kind of cause this to occur, which is what inspired me to do this in the first place. So, but basically what I did was um, I took the insert out because it obviously uh, I don't want the fluid in it to catch fire, but also it absorbs some of the heat and I want this thing to get as hot as possible. So I took this out and it's actually tight in there because some of the heat anodization happened on the inside. And because of that, it got a little bit tighter uh, in there, which is interesting. But then what I did is I took this. You can either hold it by the lid. Uh, you will. The lid does get hot, but not unbearably hot. But then I just kind of took this, had it lit, and I just kind of did stuff with the flame. I'm not going to do too much to it because I'm actually pretty happy with the way it is now. But this this flame does get really really hot. What do you what do you want to do? You want to kind of get the tip of the flame. You want to kind of hit it with the tip of the flame first, and then when you start noticing a color change, that's when you want to move the fl it a little bit closer to the flame, because then you'll start noticing it's going through the various different spectrums of colors, the uh, closer and the hotter it gets. But it, in some cases, the colors kind of fade away when you draw the lighter back. It's a little bit weird. It, it happens. It's a little bit, uh, you kind of have to fight with it, kind of get the lighter close to it, but it's kind of neat. So there you go. If you want to try it out, just get yourself one of these uh, jet style lighters. I would not recommend using the Ronson jet light. This thing sucks. I'm serious. That is the problem I've been having. It is super duper annoying. It really, really is. Anyways, guys, there you go. Just wanted to show that to you. This is my, again, my high polished brass armor. The nice thing about this is that if one day you decide you're tired of this, you can go and get some brass polish and it'll come right off. You can polish it off. All right. So I don't know how this will hold up with uh, everyday use, but um, I will be trying that out in the future and maybe I will show it off in a video. 
Uh, something else is interesting. Right now, you can see this looks. Uh, it looks pretty good. You can you can really see the colors, but like in different lightings, it kind of looks different. Here it is outside, and then I did another shot underneath where the front door is. There's kind of an overhang, not really an overhang. It's kind of like boxed in almost. Um, it looks a little different there. And then here is a, a shot in the bathroom, which is actually where I did this. Uh, so there you go. And if you're wondering how I spared the lid, I cut a piece of coat hanger. This actually has some paint on it, so uh, I wanted to make sure I made sure that I had good ventilation when I was doing this. When I wanted to, um, you know, get the the front and the back, what I would do because I didn't want to hold it like this because the flame would kind of spread out and sometimes hit me in the finger, which was really bad. <laughs> it kind of hurts. So what I would do is I'd actually have it standing, but because it's an armor, it doesn't really. Well, it stands there, but it doesn't do it easily. But what I did was I took this, had it in there, and then I basically propped the lid up like that. So now essentially what we have is this setup. If you imagine this is sitting on a table, and you can get on it and not touch the lid. So, yeah. I kind of like that contrast. But there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video, which will be coming up actually later today. So, thanks for watching, and adios.